Me well, <laughs> one plus five. Anyway, couldn't, yeah. get, the, couldn't get the major, huh? <laughs> couldn't get the major. <laughs> couldn't get it. I love it. Oh, didn't like math. Didn't tell you, but did a lot of it to learn how to tell you what's going on for tomorrow morning. And the numbers will show our visibility dropping. And it's hard to see outside with our Dallas Sky Cam right now. 46 degrees, winds out of the southeast, 17 miles per hour. Let's take a look at some of our other cameras. So you can see in Fort Worth, the Sky Cam, some patchy fog, some low-level clouds pushing back into North Texas. Same story up near parts of Frisco. We do have a little bit of clock. We're trying to work in Frisco, a little bit more visibility, at least right now. But as you take a look at the visibility of miles across parts of North Texas, starting to see that fog really thicken up over Mineola and Tyler, about a mile of visibility. And we're going to be seeing that drop even more going into tonight and into tomorrow morning. That moisture content in place, and also seeing that visibility dropping, by, dropping down to maybe less than a half of a mile in some spots. So tomorrow morning, set the alarm clock right now for maybe an extra 10 to 15 minutes because of that fog. That's going to be out there. Then those clouds should start to burn off. Now we have a little bit of low-level cloud cover pushing back in. We're in the mid 40s, McKinney, 44 in Denton, 58 in Breckenridge, where it was warmer today. Temperatures should remain relatively steady through the remainder of the night tonight, holding in the mid 40s thanks to the cloud cover that is sticking around. Maybe a couple spots dipping down a little bit more. And then tomorrow, with that fog and maybe some patchy drizzle off towards the east, it's going to be kind of a dismal start to your day. But then we'll start to see the clouds clear out. South winds near 15 to 20 will warm us back up. And then going into late tomorrow night, into early Thursday morning, maybe a little bit of light rain around. So we'll see partly cloudy skies in the afternoon hours. 65 will be your high. West counties, I think, warmer. East counties, not as warm with that south southeast wind holding on. This is all ahead of this cold front that is on the way. The front will pass its way through parts of North Texas, probably uh, the late morning hours in the afternoon. We'll be in the mid 50s. That front passes through in my Thursday afternoon into the low 40s and we could see maybe going into Thursday evening uh, maybe a couple of flurries near our Red River counties as that front pushes east. So the temperatures drop in the day on Thursday. It's going to feel like the 20s on Thursday afternoon. Friday 49 for your high. Saturday 38 degrees. This is with another reinforcing shot of some cold air on the way. So watch how these temperatures drop and that's what it's going to feel like. Maybe 20 degrees by 4 o'clock and then we actually are colder this weekend. Temperatures are going to be starting out at 23 degrees Sunday morning by Sunday afternoon. Doug and Kaylee, only 44 degrees. We'll be checking that Sunday morning on CBS.